gotta get your brain right if you're trying to make a million dollars If you ain't gonna do it for yourself, then do it for your mama Only stay surrounded by them people if you know they solid Elevate your hustle up today to double up your profit Trying to learn some game, Xavier gon' talk about it No Deanna, speak that shit that everybody voucher Ain't no more excuses valid, get up off the couch and get up in your bag To your bank account, need an accountant Yo, 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 welcome back to the greatest show on earth, the Millionaire Mindsets Podcast. I am your host, Xavier, and today we got a live one, man. Y'all better make sure y'all tap into this one. So before we start the show, I would like to advise all the listeners and the watchers to please subscribe, uh, leave that five-star rating, leave that review, share, like, do all those things, man. We're trying to run those numbers up for real, so if y'all would do all those things, like I said, I would definitely appreciate it. And getting right to the show, like I said, we got a live one. This is going to be one of those ones, so y'all make sure y'all... Stay tapped in. I got my guy, Mitch Smith, man. He doing, he beast in the real estate yeah, industry, yeah. man, in business, period, man. So we got him on the show. What's good, bro? Man, I'm chilling, man. Chilling, chilling. Glad you having me, bro. Yeah. Love the setup. Love what y'all doing, man. Just thank appreciate you. it, bro. Thank you. Thank yeah, you, fam. Yes, yeah, and yeah. Just, just just, getting straight to it, man. Like, I, I'm not even like the uh, the, the, the small talk kind of person. I like like getting straight <laughs> to the meat and potatoes, bro. So yeah. tell the people. So f- for the people who may have been under a rock, they might they might not uh seen or heard of you yeah. of you yet. Do you mind just giving them some background on yourself real quick? Yeah, real quick, man. Born and raised in Philly. Um, got out of Philly by the grace of God. Um, went to college. Um, kind of. I'm not gonna say I wanted to go to college, but like everybody else, man, I really wanted to play football, thinking I was Word. going to the NFL, HBCU, okay. thinking, no, and damn well. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, you, you, you at Jackson State now. Yeah, Jackson, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're back, you know, I graduated in 09, so back okay, then, right. man, chances are slim. So I went there, graduated. All I wanted to do was get a job, make 40, 50,000 a year, and I thought I was, I was gonna be set, bro. And then um, it happened, right? I graduated, got a government job, made 40,000. Started out like forty thousand a year, and still was broke as hell, bro. Was broke. Um, every two weeks, I remember my check was eleven hundred dollars, bro. Every two weeks, eleven hundred. But at the end of the day, I still had eighty thousand dollars student loan debt, car note, credit card, all that stuff. And ain't nothing like giving somebody forty hours of your time, and you got fifty dollars left after mm-hmm. you pay all your bills. So immediately, I already knew I. I I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I said, bro, I got, I got to do something else. And, to, and I came across some guy named Mark Witten on YouTube. Know, yeah. A lot of guys know who you yeah, Mark, yeah, He was like the first dude in the social media era that yeah. had like a platform he, talking he, about real yeah, estate. He more laid back, but um, he cool. He, we, we cool. Um, I see, I found him on YouTube, you know, and tatted up from Baltimore at the time, right? I was living not far from Baltimore and he made me a believer, bro. That's it. Word. All I did was see. All I did was see a random guy on YouTube. So I started doing my digging, man. Started doing my digging and got into real estate wholesaling specifically. Um, did everything wrong, though, bro. Definitely did everything wrong and uh, made my mistakes. But eventually, man, I learned it. I learned it. I learned Word. it. And then I prevailed. Um, but it's a couple of things I want to talk about before. I, it don't got to be real estate specific, but it's some things that Let's get um, to it. It it, it kind of I could have I could have I could have fell off a cliff um, if I didn't do some things I want to talk about. And the okay. first and the first thing was keeping my job, bro. Like to this day, man, um, I still got a full time job. Granted, I do work a hundred percent from home. Okay. Um, which is why I really keep it. And I tell everybody, if you got a job, first of all, go find a job. If you're trying to get into entre- entrepreneurship, I know people might say th- different things, but you gotta have the bills paid. To right. Not think about that while you're trying to do your thing when it comes to the business. So even if you got family, it's even more crucial. You got some type of security as far as making sure the baby is, is fed, mm-hmm. making sure y'all y'all got shelter. Just the bare necessities. That's it. You know, don't try to live in a fancy part of town. Bare necessities. Um, and that's what your job is for. And when you start getting, when you start, when you start, you know, building your your your, your income, then you can have a dec- you can make a decision on all right, do I want to quit my job? Um, or do do I want to stay? Mm. I decided to stay. Why I decided to stay? Because um, I didn't allow social media to social Ooh, media to finesse you. No, nah, for real. They 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 definitely yo know, every I, damn near all my friends is entrepreneurs, and I right. see the struggles they go through, bro. My man, people, people don't talk about that. Man, my man just had surgery, bro. Right, he got insurance, but it ain't my insurance. It ain't my job pay for my insurance. Whereas though he gotta come out of pocket, but his copay was something crazy. 
Like every time his kid gets sick or he gets sick or something happens, he'd be having to pay like thousands of dollars every visit just to go for them to say, yo, go take some Tylenol. Right. And now, low key, right. he's looking for a part time job. Part time job. So they just for the insurance. Benefits. But not just that, bro. Bene People don't think about so many other things. I got a retirement plan with yeah. high six figures in there. I've been working for 13 years now. So why I'm just going to give it up? It's, first of all, my nine to five is not a headache. So I do want to put that out there. You want to get a nine to five that's flexible, um, that, you know, not, you don't want that, that micro manager all on you. Right. Not but, you can't, you ain't going to be able to grow the business like that. But um, it allows you to roll the dice, though, when you got that job. Take mm. some risk. Because if that shit fell, at least the bill still paid by that nine to five. Mm. That's yeah. important, bro. That's super important. People risk it all. Listen, you bring successful people here, these they the exceptions, bro. If you if you think about the numbers, <laughs> you think about the true numbers facts. of who tried this and who fails, it's like trying to go to the NBA. It's no that's facts. And when, and when you say that, people will say you wrong or they'll say you hating because you know, people think you can't do both. And but it's like, man, let's just be unreal. Like you said, the people that's super it, successful. That's the exception. That's not the norm. And they said it's getting your way. How much you think you can make if you didn't have the job, this, that, and the third. And I'm not, listen, I'm, I probably make more than a lot of the guys um, who, who do this full time in my space, for sure. Right. I, know, I know for sure. I know a lot of them. That's why I'm glad you said that because I don't want people to think that, oh, he probably saying that because he's not making much as an entrepreneur. And like, oh, no, no, you speaking from a high level of entrepreneurship and you still, still telling people to, uh, keep their job like talk about making a, you made a million dollars yeah i made a million man first of all before because we all a lot of we talked about this earlier 2020 changed a lot of our lives it just for some for whatever reason in our culture people yeah. didn't did crazy numbers since yep. but let's talk about the numbers i was doing before 2020 right in, in the real estate space specifically nothing online um now i wasn't doing the millions but i always a consistent two to four hundred thousand dollars every single year as a doing it part time, you feel me? While with my job, so when 2020 did, it just gave me more, more opportunities because now I'm allowed to work from home 100. percent So I said, all right, opportunity. I got more time now. So that's when I started getting some more, some online some online money and even grew the actual real estate business itself. I got more time now. Um, do man, do you understand, bro? Uh, the times that we live in right now, bro. I know I have a friend. He has three full-time IT jobs. He make like six hundred thousand a year. He work at home, hundred percent. With three, no entrepreneur, bro. He has three full-time IT jobs, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. And look, no at five o'clock, he off work, like because because <laughs> the, the the stresses and the pressures you got as an entrepreneur is real, bro. No facts. It's like it's it's real. The pressure is real, man. You got to constantly keep up with this. With this machine you got going on, with the nine to five, bro. Saturday, Sunday, you ain't thinking about nothing. Five five p.m. You can spend time with your wife. You know how much times me and wifey beef, bro? Cause I'm always working. If you just got, if you not, if you get a good nine to five where you can work at the crib, bro, I'm telling you that that's that's a lot. It's probably it's better, bro. I'm what's the real shit? It is better. <laughs> and you might say, cause freedom was always the number one reason people ain't. Want the nine to five? It's right. Freedom, getting on, getting on the bus, and you, know, right. you don't gotta do that no more. That's no, eliminated, don't. bro. You got freedom now. No you problem. have, bro. If you think about it, the average person working eight hours, you supposed to work eight hours a day, but for real, for you probably working two of those eight hours for real, for, for real. real, like real work, for real, for real. You yeah. not doing eight hours? No, you not. Flexibility, um, peace of mind, and you got, you got, you got a kid on the way, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, kids, that's, and, and that's breaking news. I ain't talked about that yet. Oh, my bad, bro. No, you good. Bad, you good. We, gonna keep, we, uh, we, gonna, we, <laughs> we gonna keep it in the show, too. Man, um, yeah, bro. But first of all, congrats, man. Congrats you, on that. Thank you, thank but you. But you gonna see, because I just told you, yeah. um, that's, that's a whole nother conversation when we talking about the pressures on your relationship and your marriage when you are an entrepreneur and now you bring your kids into that life. I'm sure y'all kind of probably hectic now. Like you got to do this and do that. Mm -hmm. Any all time, all hours of the day, just mm -hmm. websites go down. Mm -hmm. just, it's your, always your something. page get hacked. It's always something. Wifey, like, damn, I just want to just chill. <laughs> Netflix and chill for what? Can I get one night? You hey, feel me? Facts. Can I get one night? Hey, that's a fact. And uh, maybe we can even talk about marriage when it comes to just being successful in this entrepreneur space. This is the thing, bro. Imagine. And let me take my head off. You good? You that's good? It. Imagine. 
Imagine you making the money you making now. I'm making the money I'm making now. We single. No kids. You think you, first of all, you think we would reach this point if we wasn't married? It would, first of all, it, like you said, it's impossible because I, it's funny because I just talked about this with Diddy. I'm like, family brings structure and stability. Absolutely. You all over the place when you, when you, when you especially young and single. It's a bunch of like, it's just too much. That's 21 too- Savage and Drake album just came out. It, that's, that's an album for savages, bro. <laughs> if you making millions. <laughs> and my producer like, yeah, he love it. He love it. <laughs> if you making, if you get in the bag right now and you basically, you get to pick who you want to date. Yeah. Is, money is really not a problem no more. Um, bro, you can, you can go down fast, bro. You can mm. go down extremely fast. Um, I treat the entrepreneur space, online space, this this nothing, this just like the rap game, bro. Let me ask you this. That's that's interesting you say that. Let me ask you this with that being said. So let's say a a, a young guy that's winning, you know what I'm saying, and he's single, how should he be maneuvering or or how should he be treating the dating field? Like if you if you young and single and you winning. What should you be moving? You shouldn't be, we know, we shouldn't be messing with any and everybody. Is it like you should stick to a certain limit? Like, I'm going to stick to two, three? Like, what should you do? Man, <laughs> nah, sharing your energy with all those girls. This is the thing, bro. Man, and we could we could tell them what to do, but at the end right. of the day, when you 20, 21, exactly. 20, man, you're you trying to it. smash everything walking everything. With, with a big butt. Let's just keep it all the way stacked. That's right. And uh, that's why most people don't be successful until they Later start reaching 30. They playing catch up because all the, you could curse on here? Yeah. All the pussy they've been chasing Mm -hmm. in their 20s. And not, not, man, bro, I used to be maxing out my credit cards to drive and fly to different, (laughs) y'all. I went to Chicago and maxed out my credit card to go chill with a girl in my early 20s, bro. I ain't have no bread. See? Bro, we we going to expensive restaurants and all that, (laughs) chasing (laughs) women. Literally spent my early 20s chasing women, chasing women. Um, playing catch up now when you turn 29, 30, 31, credit messed up. Everything is all messed up. It's hard to tell a young cat not to chase, not to do that. Not, not to chase the kitty cat, bro. Because you're right. It's like, because it is a such thing as what they call it, sowing your royal oats, as they say. That's the thing, too. But if we could change that um, and, we could, and, we could, and we could put the bag first and, and bag push, first push. Because at the end of the day, bro, once you, I tell, I tell young cats all the time, once you... Once you really get the money, um, you can pick any girl you want instead of having to chase them. Exactly. You don't got to chase You ain't got to chase nobody. And it sounds bad, right? It's, it's, you shouldn't be doing it for that. Right. But um, if that's what you want and that's what you, if, if that's what motivates you and inspires you as the woman, go get some money, bro. No. <laughs> go get some money. <laughs> you get whatever you want. That's all you got to go get, go get the bag and you get whoever you want. That, that's what it really come down to, bro. Mm, no, you talking some, hey, you talking some shit, bro. That's real. Like I, I, I agree a hundred percent, man. I say it all the time. Like if you, if that's what, if that's what you're looking for, and that's what you're thirsting after, just go get, just mm. lock in on the hustle. Go get, go get some money, and, bro. And you are gonna see how it's just gonna flock to you. Absolutely, that's just man. the game. That's how I go. Get some money, it, and it, it don't gotta be entrepreneur bag. It exactly, could, exactly. It, it, it could be a nine to five bag. You know, mm. some women love that stability. They love a man that go to work every day. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, ain't nothing mm-hmm. wrong with getting a good job. Bro. I'm trying to tell you, that's, that's under, that's underrated. A good, a good job, a good job where you actually happy, right? Um, good pay. It's underrated. It is many times, bro. It's a lot better than. It is. Being an entrepreneur, bro, it is. 100%. I'm, I, bro, I'm so glad you said that because as entrepreneurs, like, we are, like, especially online, you always just see the pros, the pros, the pros, the pros. And even though, that's why when people come on the show, I, I want them to talk about the cons as well because just being real, it's not for everybody. That's why I just talk about money. Whether you got a job, whether you got an entrepreneur, you can still get money. You don't have to be an entrepreneur for real because that shit is not for every. You got to be a little... You gotta be a little let's, let's crazy th- for real. Let's think about this, bro. We just are we just coming into this space where we starting to run businesses, right? Right. You talking about centuries of all we know and the parents, grandparents, great grandparents work, 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 working nine to five. Work. We trying to literally in a, in, a, in a matter of a this is like a three year years, span, right? Become an entrepreneur, have an accounting department. We got to hire people. We got to fire people. We got to run systems. We got to do payroll. We got to manage our money. We can't. We, bro, we just all now learning this. 
from decades of all we, all our parents and everybody did was nine to five, nine to five, nine to five, nine to five. You, you got to understand you're going, it's going to be up and down. We, you're trying to learn it as you go. You're trying to learn it. You're going to have great, bro, I, I messed up, right? The, Smitty the Goat that you had on yeah, yeah, yeah. when you talked about the taxes, it, it hit home for me because even though I was getting real estate money, the online money a little different. It come fast it come and it come frequent. Mm -hmm. And Uncle Sam hit me, hit me up. So right now, bro, I got to pay them 26000 a quarter. Every quarter. I'm getting that all situated now. Um, getting with the right tax people because with my real estate and with the online, I was yeah, just... Yeah, yeah, I already know, bro. The online, I wasn't prepared. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You, you, you just, again, it's all new to us and, and knowing is. what to do with that kind of money. Um, again, bro, like this shirt is stupid to buy. Like, oh, girl, I, I watched all your, I watched yeah. all your shows, so <laughs> I felt... I, that joint's fly, though. I appreciate that's it. I like fly. that it's like subtle yeah, and, and it's low key. key. That's, that's how yeah. I really like If I'm going to wear designer, it's going to be like this. Mm -hmm. Um, But this is still, bro, shit was like... I can't remember, $1,000 or something? It's mm -hmm. kind of stupid, bro. By, like, doing shit like that. If, if, because because this is new to us. This right. is new to us, bro, seeing this kind of money this fast, and we think that it's never going to stop. But like we just said, it could stop any minute. Any minute. And I just did a podcast not long ago about tomorrow we could wake up, bro, yeah, you two could be gone. Gone. For it's whatever reason, gone. and you you got no say-so. Because you don't own YouTube. Your IG just got taken in yep. July. Imagine if all your income came from that page. It's over. It's, it's over. over. It's been over. The nine to five is a little different. Yeah. The, now, they still got, they still got kind of somewhat control over your paycheck, but nowadays, bro, you can work 100% from home. All you got to do is show up and do your work. You, bro, you could be in your pajamas. You don't got, people, I don't, I don't think people realize what, what, what they can do with a job right now. No, I don't think people do either. Not for real. Um, I'm reading a book called Who Not How. I'm not sure you've read it before, mm -hmm. right? Because the thing is, I'm full of transparency. I'm not going to say who I work for, but right, right, right. I do got nine to five, but I don't even do it because the times we live in. I got virtual assistants doing my nine to five. I got a whole salary, bro. That's fucking Think about what? that because the times we live in. The times we live in. It's the same thing over and over. I don't need to be there. Virtual assistants doing my nine to five, right? My real estate business, that's all done by somebody else. My coaching business, everything, who, not how. So when, when, when you're trying to figure out, yo, how can I get a nine to five and start a business? When you ask yourself how, um, you create a lot of obstacles for yourself. You want to ask yourself who, who is the answer? Right. Who can do this for me? Who can I put in place? And a lot of people want to be cheap. Um, and I always say, yo, uh, being cheap is very expensive because you're gonna take X amount Facts. of time, X amount of time to figure out how to do something. All you gotta figure out is who. Who? That's it. Who? So when I was, because it, it was a time where it was starting to be a lot of work for the nine to five, but I wasn't letting go of my, my real estate business right. either. So instead of me saying, "Yo, how can I do both?" and putting all that pressure on myself, I then said, "Who? Virtual assistants. They work in my real estate business. They learned a whole complex real estate business." Everything I told them, they definitely could do this nine to five. I put them in place. I now, granted, I gotta sign some things because yeah. you need my signature. Right. And if I gotta show up to a meeting on a Zoom or something, all right, I'll do that. that. Right. But the day to day, I ain't gotta be there. But I'm still getting full time job, and they only even get paid seven, eight dollars an hour. That's genius, bro. I never heard of that. Trip. The I times we live in, you better take advantage, bro. People gotta take advantage, and there's so many jobs out there where people don't even think about that. That it's the same thing over. It's, the job is repetitive. Hire a virtual assistant. If the job pay you twenty dollars an hour, pay your virtual assistant eight. Eight. And free up your time. And, up and your go time. and go crazy over here on your business. That's fucking brilliant, bro. Dog, I never. Who not this. how, bro? That's so important. Always. This is a powerful message, bro. Because I even a couple years ago, I remember saying on one of the shows, I said, I think years from now, because it, it's easy to want to be an entrepreneur and it's easy to be an entrepreneur in the flowing economy. And I was like, a couple years from now, I think people are going to realize that they truly don't want to be entrepreneurs. What they truly want is just time freedom. But they think entrepreneurship is the only way to get it when that's not true. It's not true. You know bro. what I'm saying? It's not true. And, <laughs> and, and it's the thing. If, if, you gotta, if, you actually, if you ask a question and it's already been done, um, then go hire, go, go hire a who for that. Just go hire a who. If Damn. it's already been done already. So when you're trying to figure out something and it's already been done, stop right there. Don't figure out how to do it. Just figure out who. 
put them in place. Now, for the questions that you have and is and, and never been done, that's where the opportunity created. That's where the bag is at. So, like this podcast, right? Everybody got a podcast, but they're not gonna do it like you. That's so that's where the creativity coming at. Right. Nobody can do this but Xavier mm -hmm. at this level. Mm -hmm. So this and this. I mean, I'm not getting your business, but this is where a lot of your money probably come from. Mm -hmm. This podcast and how many streams it brings in from different yeah, avenues. Right, yeah, but you're not about to sit here if and and try to be the cameraman. That's already been done. Who could do who could do my camera work right. while I'm doing the podcast? While I'm doing the podcast. Go, go get the who. Go get go and the more who's you create, the more money you make. And also, it's important that you gotta be a who for somebody. So let's just say mm. you got a podcast mentorship. I wanna start a podcast. I never did it. Um, now you become my who. You feel me? How that work? Yep. And it, you get and everybody it's eats. A cycle. Everybody and every everybody getting money, man. That's it, man. Hey, you 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 give us some uh some high some yeah, high value. Sure, I want to talk about cause like like um hitting a million dollar year while having a nine to five. I think that's so that's so uh unique and dope at the same time because that's nah. not it's not common. You never hear somebody making a million from their business and then while keeping a nine to five. Yeah. yeah, and again, man. Uh, the, the, the thoughts of quitting a nine to five crossed my mind literally right. every day, bro. Like, <laughs> like it, it, who it, it, it just do like right. my, my my paycheck in my nine to five every two weeks is like twenty nine hundred dollars, right? Mm -hmm. It's twenty nine hundred, right? Mm -hmm. And you already know, right? You in the space it. you in, you go, you can make that in the hour or a day, whatever. And it's like, damn, like so the pressure is, is there, but don't get me wrong, I had some down months. I had did a flip. Lost 80 bands. I did a couple of flips where I lost 40 bands, 80 bands, and a third. And you're like, yeah, I'm glad I got that nine to five because it, bro, and this before the internet. I'm talking about when I did, when I was doing fixing and flipping houses and you losing $80,000, like you, like you really took a net loss of 80 bands. It's like, damn, if I didn't have a nine to five, it would have crippled me. Um, doing a million dollars in one year and also having a nine to five really didn't. I thought it was like going to be this whole thing because I I've always was looking to make a million dollars in one year just to say I did it. But when I hit it, I ain't feel no type of way, bro. I might have like, my wife was like, Yo, that's a milestone that you should be proud of this and third. I'm like, I don't know. I don't feel, I don't feel no different. It's just money. It's just, just numbers. Um, all I did was go hire some more who's for the house for her because now mm -hmm. she don't cook. She don't got clean. She don't mm. do laundry. So when it comes to that, it, it it bettered our relationship because it creates more freedom. That money going to bring freedom if you use it the right way, right? We just hire more people. Mm. When you when your kid on the way, I promise you, your wife ain't. Whatever she doing now domestically. It's over with. Right now, she start planning that. Get rid of all that for her. That's what a million dollars do. It get, rid get rid of, of everything. Get rid of all those domestic $10 an hour chores she got to do every day. All Man. she wanted to do, nurture the baby. Nurture the baby. That's it. Focus on the baby. Focus on the, the girl. Focus on the baby. That's it. The, bro, if I come in the house, I don't even want to see my wife folding clothes. Why you want to see your wife folding clothes for? Bro, she raising the baby, bro. Nah, you good. We good. They had enough of that. That's what I'm saying. We not our, they not their grandmothers, bro. Um, you mm. know, grandma. What grand what what, what, are, what grandmothers do on Sundays? The entire Sunday. They, folding, they dedicate cleaning, dishes. <laughs> Everything. And for some reason, like, we just drag that on. We do. Like, we supposed to do that. And then we got some men out here who are saying, no, I can't marry her, bro. She don't cook and clean. And what? Right. Nobody want to do that. Your grandma, first of all, our grandma <laughs> ain't want to do that shit, bro. A lot of them had, they had, yeah, had to do it. They ain't had the freedom. They ain't had the money. And it was hard. And a lot of our grandmothers, I don't know what it was, they had five, six. My, my grandma had 12 kids. My for, grandma had nine. Yeah, nine. You see, and they had to do all that <laughs> with yeah. nine kids. Why you want to bring those all that 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 traumatic experience to your wife to do the same thing, and then they don't want to cook and clean? We start. Nah, I don't want her. You tripping? I don't mm -hmm. want my wife doing that, bro. Go get you. Let your wife focus on the kids and growing and growing her business. That's what my wife do, bro. That's dope. And it was so crazy about that. I think it's hard for people to fully realize. You, know, I think you don't really fully realize that until you start making money and you like, damn, you know how much time consuming cooking is. You like. Man, you if if I got bread, I could just get somebody else to do this stuff. Man, so you can chill. Man. We can okay. sit here and watch a movie. We could do this, this. It, 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 exactly, bro. My bad. We got uh we got cleaners at the crib literally right now. My wife just uh my wife just uh uh which one coming our cash app as soon as I leave here. She's not bro, she's sitting on the couch watching them clean. Making it easier for her. Making it easier for us because I 
the thing is that energy gonna come on to me. If she gotta exactly. cook and clean all day, I'm gonna come home after I just got finished working, and she run. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, how and can I, I fix this? And that's when I started hiring all this, all the cleaners and all and all the people around the house. And I, th I think a lot of dudes don't realize that once you make a woman's life, especially if it's a woman that's really rocking with you, y'all for each other. Once you make her life easier. Yeah. She's, you know, we always talking about peace. We need peace of mind. She's going to be that peace that you're talking about once you make her life that simple and easy. Yeah, but she can't be your but peace if she, she just doing all these chores and shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah. She cooking 24-7, cleaning 24-7, watching the kids 24-7. Don't look, God forbid, she got to work too. How she supposed to, you know, that's just being real. How she supposed to be that peace you're looking for when she got to do all these goddamn things? I'm glad you brought that up too because the million dollars also allowed me to retire wifey. Another thing, because she did work a job. Granted, she only had to go in the office once, once a, a, a week. Oh, but, that's sweet. But she ain't want to do it. Sure. I'm like, all right, don't, don't got to do it no more, right? That's crazy. Uh -huh. So that's an amazing feeling, right? I mean, to be able, because my mom passed away when I was like 22. So Damn. I always wanted to be able to retire my mom, but I had an opportunity yeah, to do so. So if it, that was one of the top five highlights of my life, being able to retire my wife, give her the option. Like, you don't got to work ever again if you don't want to. That two weeks in, it's been over a year now. And now she running up her own bag. She running up her own bag. So she's the one who do all of my YouTube ads. She's like a YouTube ass expert. Okay. So she can sit at the crib, run it up. She on salary, right? I'm, I'm she working for me. So I pay her every two weeks, right? That's every hard, two weeks. man. So bro, it, it it does it does a lot, man. It does a lot. It's amazing. And don't worry about the run. We got the mic, the mic block all that oh, shit okay. out. So we good. Yeah, but that's that's like man, that's um because how, how how old are you, bro? 35. You 35? Yeah. Damn, well, I thought... Everybody, you, everybody... Well, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I thought you was... I'm 29. I thought you was, like, 26. Everybody be saying that. Nah, bro, I'm, tw I'm 35 years old, man. Damn, I thought yeah. you was 26. I've like been 26, doing... Really, I've been doing this shit for a while. I've been doing it for 10 years, bro. You remember real estate for 20, 10 years? 10 years, bro, yeah. So, so how long it took you to really start making, like, like bread that you was like, man, this this is real money now? Um, 2017, probably. So, um, I started in 2012... And made like forty thousand that year, but to me that, that that's, like, that's I, I, I basically matched my nine to five, right? Doing it like it's on the side, and then uh, the following year it was probably it's like low six figures, something like that. But it, I still wasn't considering that it, like life changing. Like I, I don't feel like I was able to do a lot of just have a lot of freedom. Still, still was like I was working, 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 working. Um, but twenty seventeen is when I started stop treating stop started start stop treating it like a hustle, like a hustle. And like transition to like a business, hiring people, right. having systems. And I started seeing uh, a change. And the thing was, it was hard for me. My mindset wasn't ready to hire somebody. Hire I'm, like, I'm not paying nobody to do X, Y, Z. I could do it myself. Like I just explained. Once I got into the who, um, it comes started to grow. So 2019, that's when I started reaching that 300, 400K years. And I was consistently just doing that. That's without the job. Yeah. Th no, that's not yeah. the job. The job was. Yeah, it was on his, yeah, his own. On his own. And that's and that's when I was like, all right. But the thing is, man, um, the mindset, I'm still. Uh, my, I hear my grandma in the back of my mind. Don't quit that job. For real. To this day, bro. <laughs> I'm like, grandma, I made a million dollars last year. Don't quit that job. I, again, that's all they knew. So. Right. Because. I look at myself like I know both. I know both ends, bro. Like I'm really, I know corporate. I've been doing. I've been working a job for 13 years, and I do. I've been an I guess we could call it entrepreneur. A corporate. What they call it? A corporate. A corporate newer. Something corporate, like that. Corporate. Corporate newer. Corp, corp, like corp, yeah. Whatever. So yeah, I've been doing yeah. that for 10 years. So I know both sides. Um, and it's no reason right now for me to get rid of my nine to five, nine to five. unless he. And I'm gonna tell you one thing. If I ever walk in that building and he asks me to, and they ask me to do something I don't want to do, I'm not doing it. Having that freedom to be able to do that, you walk different when you making an uh, M on the side and you and, and they telling you pick up a project. Can you do this? Hell no, nah. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And they know. First, the thing is, some of them follow me. They already know they what already type know of time I'm right? yeah. and, and the thing is, I'm respectful. I I get the job done, whether it's by me or not. They don't know that the job gets done. Um, and I don't do, I do the bare minimum, but I do the bare minimum at a great level, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. There's this thing going around called quiet quitting in the nine to five world. Mm, People are doing the bare minimum. They're not doing nothing extra. They're not taking on no extra curricular activities at work. They're not helping nobody. They're doing exactly what they was hired for. It's quiet. And they, it's like they, they, they quietly quit. 
Like, as they exit out. It's like a whole thing. If you YouTube it, quiet quitting. And not, so I'm saying you're not a nine to five right. world, so you don't know. But, and I, I encourage, if you want to build a business on the side or whatever you want to do, quiet quit. Don't be doing no extra stuff. They're not paying you for that. When you're a salary worker, we don't get paid extra for doing extra things. So I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not going to volunteer either. So quiet quit, bro. And what's, what's interesting is, it's, it's funny, like, once you start making money outside of your job, it's like that feeling of hating your job or hating going to work. It kind of is like not there no more. It's like all oh, my going to work. You're not there like nah, complaining bro. about your coworkers. You just it just feel it's a totally different feeling at work. It, exactly. Um, and the thing is, if if you want to keep if you want to get a job and keep it because they like the, the famous saying, how you do one thing is how, you, how do you do everything. So I really don't just go to my job and half ass it and be disrespectful and and be yes with the work because at the end of the day they still gotta. A company to run. I wouldn't right. want nobody working for me, so I definitely do my job. You feel me? And mm -hmm. it gets done on time. There's no issues with me. They don't got to worry about me doing this, that. Nah, it gets done. Get done. Um, because I want to do it at a high level. But again, I'm not going to do extra things because if if I was if I was to slack off and BS, then they going to do it. If I found out one of my employees found a who to do their job, I wouldn't even be mad. Long no, as it's getting it done, done. Yeah, I'm not facts, tripping. Facts. So it, it's getting done. Um, and like you said, man, how you do one thing is, 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 is how you do everything. Literally, um, even when it comes to just being clean, bro, like nine times out of 10, if a girl car is dirty. You already know what time it is. This is going to be dirty. Yep. House going to be dirty. Yep. Um, it's a lot, man. It's just being neat. You could just tell, bro. They say it's a they, they, what they call it a reflection of your brain. Absolutely. Guys, too. You got a junky ass crib, a junky ass car. More than likely, you got a clouded ass brain. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying? Man. So, you, like, like you said, how you do one thing is how you do everything, and that's a good way to, to um, if you're trying to analyze somebody or that, you know what I'm saying? Just, 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 just watch how they treat. The things that may be considered the small things. Nah, for, for sure, bro. You know for what I'm sure. saying? Yeah. yeah absolutely, bro. So, I want to I want to talk about uh, real estate though. Let's so do it. at this point, is you um are you uh wholesaling, just wholesaling, or are you just That's my bread and butter, bro. You flipping or are you just ho just wholesaling? All right, so we can talk about real estate. So flipping, fixing and flipping is when you say flipping, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So wholesaling is my bread and butter. Like that's what I specialize in, that's what I teach, that's what I do. Right. Um that's what I that's what like got me to where I'm at now. I got a bunch of rental properties too, but that's more Long, long term, term long term wealth you know what right. i mean um so those three like i like talking about wholesaling uh fixing and flipping and, and rental properties right when you when i since we're talking about a nine to five i like to break these down like this wholesaling is literally your bi-weekly paycheck from your nine to five that's mm. what that is that's your bi-weekly paycheck every two weeks you're gonna get it ain't gonna be fifty thousand. it's gonna be you know and when it comes to wholesaling typically three to twelve thousand is like typically sometimes it definitely could be more for sure you get a crazy deal crazy sometimes deals. it could be less three to twelve every two weeks right and then you got fixing and flipping and that's more like your bonuses like at work you get a bonus mm, some people bonuses be 30k 50k right, right, right. that's what a fix and flip is it's a bonus it take you know it's gonna take four or five, four or five six, six months, months. Yep. get that bonus rental properties your 401k it's your retirement mm. you buy your rental properties that's long term because you know i got rental properties that cash flow three hundred dollars a month 400, 500, that's not going to change your life right now. But after you keep investing into your rental properties like your 401k, when you turn 50, 60, and you got 20, 20. 30k coming in every month, that's because you invested properly into your 401k, aka your rental properties. So that's how I treat it. And my wholesaling business, that's what that's what feed, feed me. That's the machine. That's what feed me. Because when you wholesale, now I get the cherry pick with deals I want to keep for my rental portfolio for my 401k. And then sometimes I might keep it and I might fix it and flip it. But I'm not big on fixing and flipping, bro. To me, it's a big waste of time. Um, and, you know, some people... I know some people probably yeah, be like, what? Yeah. It, it's a waste of time. Um, and it, 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 it requires too much of my time. And it's stressful. I can see that. I can see that. It's stressful, bro. And, I, and people don't talk about this. Um, first of all, it's a lot of capital that you got to put up. Yeah. Yeah, you can use other people's money for sure. But the thing is, most people who get into real estate who want to do a fix and flip, they not good at managing money. They in that situation because they are bad at managing money. So why do I want you to take out all this debt to do a fix and flip? You ain't going to be able to manage that money. Right. I know you not. I've just seen people fail too many times. Um, not just that. You got to really... If, you're not, you don't, if you don't know construction and you just letting the contractor tell you different things, you're going to get fucked, bro. Damn. You, you can pretty 90% of people, first flip, is going to be a fail. 
guarantee out the gate and it's gonna leave a bad taste in their mouth when it comes to real estate. Do not start with fixing and flipping. All we start with wholesaling real estate is the foundation of real estate, bro. It teaches you how to analyze deals. It teaches you how to build relationships. It teaches you it somewhat construction. It just in is 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 super is it's low risk. You're not gonna go in there and lose 50 bands trying to flip a house. Um bro. In order for me to flip a house, like, the, the deal got to be so great. I'm not fixing and flipping probably ever again. It doesn't yeah. make sense. So my strategy is I'm going to constantly wholesale. I wholesale, I wholesale. But I like to buy turnkey properties at a discounted price and keep them as my rentals. Keep I'm not rest. trying to do work on properties. I feel you. I'm not in the game to do work. I feel you. Right? Like, so that's my strategy. You know, everybody got their own strategy. I think that's the best strategy. Yeah. So if a property is turnkey, tenants is already living in there or is already is, is ready to be lived in, I want to get that at a discount, a discount and I'm buying it. And buy it. This Start is, making money immediately. I treat them like businesses. Every house is a business, bro. So like when you if you wanna go buy a business, you wanna go buy a business that's beat up where you gotta rehab it. Hell no. Well, I don't want that. That's the same thing for a house. I wanna buy a cash flowing business. I wanna buy a cash flowing property that's gonna pay me the minute I you buy close, that joint. So I'm not about to go. That's why I don't do fix and flips. You was six months of your time. It's stressful it as hell. A lot of bread. They checking your credit. You're dealing with hard money lenders. Bro, no. I'm not doing that, bro. That makes sense, bro. And that when I uh st first started buying properties in 2018, that was my exact same strategy. What I just I'm, said? Yeah, yeah. Just buy a house that maybe need a little work yeah. at most. Carpet paint, yeah, carpet like, I'm paint. not about to be tearing yeah, down tearing walls down. and electrical and plumbing. Hell no. Nah. Especially when you um when you feel like you got some bread, but you ain't at, you ain't at a point where you're trying to spend 100 150 on no fix. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to just get in there, make some money, ASAP, build up that rental yeah, income. Your yeah, life be on pause when you're doing a rehab, bro. Like, literally, because most people, all they money is into the rehab. In that rehab. And they can't really make a move until that's actually completed. And there's so many moving parts. You got to deal with contractors, realtors, appraisers, uh, banks, listing agents, mm -hmm. brokers, uh, just all kinds of people. Everything got to go. Everybody it gotta move accordingly, you gotta, you gotta be accordingly. on the same page. And for a new person who don't know nothing about real estate, they come put up their last forty thousand, max out their credit cards, it's going to go left. Oh, fact. It's going to go left. You're right. Even if you got a mentor, I promise you it's going to go left. And and you, when that happened to people, you know it's the first thing they say, man, real estate ain't, ain't it. it real estate work. ain't the move, it don't work. Yeah. It'd be like, bro, this not the real estate, it's just that you ain't know what you was doing, yeah, bro. You skip stages. You, you skip, skip you skip you skip this level. No yeah. mentor ain't getting nothing. Like, you just got right into the game. Facts, bro. <laughs> you should not go out the game. If if you don't mind me asking, what was your what was your biggest wholesale check? This was last year. Uh, okay. It was the thing was it was me and a partner though. But okay. it, it's granted, it still was a it was sixty eight thousand, so we had that's to split it. it. But still, you feel me? Like it still was. A, it still was a bit, and that's the thing. Cause fixing and flipping, average the average check. I know people always post the uh, I made a hundred k. This that average check about forty grand, bro. Like normal, net. So you know when people post those checks that say hundred, yeah, you, they just swiped. They done maxed out four credit cards that they still got to pay off. Yep. They not that's not they net. People people don't be knowing that. But well, wholesaling because granted, right now I do like between three to five deals every single month. Now, like I said, mm -hmm. bro, every deal is between typically three to twelve thousand. Mm -hmm. That's cool though. Let's just say they eight. So eight, sixteen, twenty-four. That's why like I did four. Thirty-two thousand a month, and I and I could, and I don't have to wait six months. To do one fix and flip to make that. Right. So why why I want to waste time doing a fix and flip? Again, I would do a fix and flip, but the the the, the projected the, 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 profit the better be, be big. Minimum hundred K. I'm not doing it. Not in this. It's too. E nah, bro. It's, I'm not doing it. Nah, I'm not doing it, bro. So what? What's the what's the as a wholesaler? What's the climate like today with the economy? Uh, amazing, bro. It's, it's still amazing, huh? Man, people be tripping about the economy. This and that. There. I've been noticing since since, since 2012. It. It never was, I would say since like 2014, 15, but it never was a month that went by where I didn't do a wholesale deal. Mm. It never stops. It, people don't stop buying houses because the economy fell. Literally right now, millions of people are still looking to buy a house. Facts. It's never, it's, it, that it's shit never is not stopping. Stop. Yeah. It's not stopping. And the thing is, I'm telling people right now, and, and I already see it, you better get your hands on some real estate, man. Everybody. Um, because agree. it's, I'm not sure if you know this, but in, last year, out of all the properties that's been sold, 25% was purchased. Like hedge funds? 
But think about that, bro. And they only going crazier. Yeah, it's only and gonna it, get worse. It, it, and the typical person like me, you, who you know, what I mean, we got a little bit of bread, but we can't. You can't compete with yeah. that. You better at least, yo. You, people got to get at least a couple. You got to get some kind of ownership. Try to buy one a year, yeah. something. You got to though, like, cause that's real estate is one of those things that's not going to decrease in value. It might slow up. This this ain't this ain't this ain't decreasing. Mm. Real estate is not decreasing, bro. I'm telling you, it's not going. It's not. Listen, it's going to be little small times where it, you know, it, it get a little, it get a little shaky. But over time, talk to your grandma, bro. Talk to your grandma. Grandma, grandma always paid 10k for the house in the best part of right. Texas, DC, New York. Let's look at it now. What is worth? Three M's. What you think is going to be worth when you 50 and 60? Talk, 10 M's. 10. People and better you, stop you, playing. You gotta, but the thing is, though, like, not to get in my conspiracy theory bag, but yeah. play the little, uh, what's the, whatever. But not to get in my conspiracy, <laughs> yeah. not to get in my conspiracy theory bag, but I know World Forum, they came out with an article a couple years ago. People, y'all can go check this out. They said by year 2030, most people, they said you will own nothing and you will be happy about it. And I remember when it came out, a lot of people was like, wait, what they talking about? It's because I think my opinion in this climate like you said, these hedge funds, they come to, they, yeah. they, they, they snatching up everything. Mm -hmm. It's going to get to a point as people, they not buying homes, especially most people. Not, I say the average person is probably single today. You know what I'm saying? Relationships is not like booming like it once was 50 years ago. It's crazy right And now. if you're a single person, yeah. you're not really going to see the use or the value of buying a house if you're alone. So I think when I first read it, I was like, what the hell? Why would, like, why would they say that? But I think they plan is for them to own everything. But my point I'm getting at is it's going to be extremely hard to build wealth. That's why I preach it so much because I know there's got to be a sense of, ur sense of urgency because how can you build wealth when you can't get access to homes like that that's, if that's they snatched fact. up? You know what that's I'm saying? You fact. know, wealth in most families, your net worth is strictly connected to the house you own. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. But if you don't own a home, what, owner, what other ownership do you have? But that's why, and it's like a whole nother conversation, but that's probably why the whole metaverse thing probably is going to pop off. And yeah. it, it, it's shaky right now. It's looking bad. It's looking it's bad looking terrible. Right, now. right But that's, I don't, it's, it, it ain't going to go nowhere. I mean, I don't think so either. it's going to come back crazy. Yeah, and, it, it and people, I still got bread in there. I, don't, don't get me wrong. I don't add no more money into it <laughs> because we, I really don't know and I don't know how long right, it's going right, to take, right. but the money's still there and it's mm -hmm. going to come back. And, and what you just said, um, that's that's gonna allow the average Joe to still have ownership in some way. I'm not sure exactly how that's gonna look, but um, trust me, bro. That, yeah, that, ain't, that ain't happening. That ain't happening for no reason. Yeah, I agree, that's bro. going to pop off for sure. It is, and we might not fully benefit from that, but either our kids, our kids' kids will to it become like a real life, like everyday thing for us. I'm not sure if we all the way we'll if see, it's gonna be there for right. us. Yeah, you feel me? But it's it's oh yeah for sure it's going it's 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 going it's going it's going to be lit bro. No, you know you like piggyback on what you said. I think it's important for people to you gotta you gotta own some and, and and home ownership is probably the quickest and easiest way, other than some other than like life insurance for real. But life insurance you gotta die for that bread to hit. I'm talking yeah. about to be alive. Home ownership is the quickest way for real for you to build wealth. I don't know about that. You don't know? No. What wait. you think? Right now, uh. Creating something online, bro. Um, you will get way wealthy. First of all, full transparency, right? right. We, can, we can talk about some numbers. So, for me, I've been doing real estate again for ten years, bro. Right. Um, for me to build ten thousand dollars net cash flow in real estate, it literally took damn near ten years. Ten years. Right, right, right. I just started just online <laughs> in twenty twenty. We done did circles around that. No, I already, and I already, with way less stress. stress. I already, man. So you build wealth the easiest right now in the times we live in online. But let me ask you this, just playing devil's advocate. Can't everybody duplicate that? Yeah. You think everybody can get a bag online? Yeah. Really? You got to think about it, bro. It, it, you, you're more so even the playing field online now because offline, you got to be face to face. People can see your skin color. People can see how you talk, how you dress. Online, I could go sell whatever. You don't got to ever see my face. I know somebody right now, I got run an Amazon store, and they're not the most attractive person. And they mean, like, they a nasty person. And they cool with me, but... But I get what you're saying, yeah. And yeah. The, they have no chance offline. Mm. No chance. Online, they only the chance they got. Think about some of the people who run... Think about just personalities online who run... Man. Who have never, they would never have a chance offline. I know some shitty people that's... 
winning on the internet. Bro, I know. I, I follow this dude. He in jail right now. He got a TikTok in jail. His numbers is crazy. When he, I'm not sure how the numbers work on TikTok and how they make money, but I'm sure he can monetize that some way. He has no opportunity offline. Offline. Online. What about what if you ain't got no followers though? Ads. <laughs> bro, it's bro. <laughs> At, bro, come, come on, on bro. Right. That's you what I'm saying. You you could build wealth can way be... faster online. Yeah. No, you know, you definitely right. But when I look at it, I'm looking at it like, because I know that with, I don't know how old the average American is. You know, we got our, like I know my parents, they ain't no text internet savvy people. They're gonna be like, what? But I definitely, especially if you're younger, you could definitely, man, this internet money different. And you it, could become a millionaire. Fast. You could be like, you know how they say you can't get rich overnight. Like, no funny shit. Like, on the internet, it could damn near, you could become like a millionaire overnight. Yeah, damn you can't near. do that in real estate, though. You can't do that. Yeah, you can't really that's, do that. That's why, that, that's why real estate ain't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but it is, it's, it's, the, it's the most safest. Yeah. It's the most safest for sure. And it's a guaranteed way, too. It's going to take long, going but it's a guaranteed. Whereas, though, online is so up and down. Um, again, man, you could have a crazy month. That next month could be like, like Hold on, what happened, bro? You could, yeah. you, you you could, you could say something crazy to somebody online. They the the culture cancel you. you. Uh, I was watching the, a B Simone interview. She went from making like an M a month to ten because of she said something offensive online. To ten thousand. To ten thousand. So think about that, bro. That's what the uh, internet month? got that power. So that's why, in my opinion, bro, you want to be diversified online, offline. I'm that's trying to see. always. I'm trying to. If I, if I ever get canceled, my page get deleted, we still good, bro. I ain't tripping. I, of course, I still want my, my page back. I still want the online right. money for That's, sure. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. at least I know I ain't got to be, you know, have a yeah. heart attack or nothing. And another thing with online is is, is the um, influence. And one thing, it's, what's so crazy is in this social media era, it's damn near like people with influence is more powerful than the motherfuckers with money. That ain't got, that ain't, that ain't known. I didn't seen some. I didn't seen some people that got big social media followers get treated like royalty, and they got people next to them with M's and on top of M's that they just like. I see that. I see yeah. that a lot. I see it yeah. a lot. And the thing is, man, um, bro, everything with the, with, with all of, with the space we in, it's a gift and a curse, bro. It is. Um, I know people in the real estate space. They lie about everything, bro. They run it up online. They don't do no deals. They don't know nothing, bro. They don't know nothing, but and it makes it hard for people for who people really do really it and people it. who are trying to like really teach people and get to it. And it's like, do like, do we call them out? You don't want to be messy on. I ain't trying to on. get into that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I ain't really trying to be involved in that. So it's like, do you do 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 you step into that to protect? Because at the end of the day, like they taking money from our community, selling them a dream, and you seen it, you seen and you it. looking right at it like, damn. So what like what obligation do do we have to be like, yo? Right. That's a, that, that ain't it. Like I'm, I'm on your ass. You feel me? No, but at the yeah. same time, I ain't. I'm not trying to be online beefing with. Beefing I'm not. Even, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. First of all, so how would you approach that? You see, you see, but you see on my face, I'm like, that's such a slippery slope. Just because I know it's like, it's a slippery slope because you might look at like, man, I'm, I need to come and let people know, and then because I, I didn't seen a lot of shit on the internet, you will come out and say something, and the people that you think you helping will be the ones talking the most shit about you. And be like, you'd be like, and you would be like, damn, I should have never said nothing anyway then. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, at the end of the day, like you is right. There's so many people online capping. But it's like, at the end of the day, I always say, I'll be like, man, I, I, I can only protect and defend the, the people that's within my circumference that I love and care about. It's like, Let I'll, me ask I'll, you this, though. Yeah, what's up? You know, there's a lot of mentorships, coaches out here. Mm -hmm. Say your, you got your grandma still living? My, yeah, both of them. Say your grandma... Hit you up tomorrow. I'd have signed up for a mentorship, pay somebody forty k, and, oh, and, 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 and and they BS. It's, I, I'm on it. My grandma, bro, come on, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. My, like yeah, people, grandmas is paying, bro. Yeah, I know. Right. I, I, I'm, I be looking at it. Yeah, they be, right. they be, and they be getting sold a dream, thinking they life about to change, and they just got put in a way worse position than they started at, bro. Yeah, I'm on that. What you think about this? You know what I mean, it's like ruffle a couple feathers. Um. People doing different events, conferences, webinars, and they bringing on celebrities who really don't know business to bring the hype just so they can get more people on there and then start, you know, exaggerating. Now, I ain't going to say it's lying, but, you, like, you, I'm bringing on Cardi B to come talk about real estate. Right. Imagine that. But we know she got a crazy influence. She going to bring those she gonna bring those she folks bring through. She's bringing them. 
to talk about real estate. Man, look, look, look. So I had this conversation before. It was like, I get it. If you throw in an event, you bring card, that's a big deal, especially for branding, for the people that's going to come through. That's a huge deal. But at the end of the day, it's like she, she ain't got nothing to do with her. She ain't doing it. So it's like, but then I also realized, but, though, yeah, me I, too. Had, I had this conversation <laughs> like yesterday with a friend of mine. I also realized at the end of the day, no, how much, no, no matter how much information and value we bring, most people at the end of the day just want to be entertained. So and as is. fucked up as that sounds, it's like, like uh, I could, I could, I could make a video. You can make a video right now. Talk about step by step how to make a million with your job, and yeah. then you can make a video next to that saying, uh, "I just slapped a motherfucker yeah. in the club because they touched my girl ass." Which one you think gonna get more views? You already know which one. <laughs> so it's like you know what I'm saying. People at the end of the day, people just want to be entertained. So I get it. I get why people do that because yeah. you can bring Cardi B to a show. And if it could be a real estate event, more people going to show up to that than if you were doing the show, yeah. you giving out and real giving places, out you doing this, they're going to yeah. be like, I want to see Cardi. Yeah. So it's like, should I get mad at the people that's putting on these shows or should I get mad at the, mad at the people that attend it? It's like, that's yeah. why I just be like, at this point, I just mind my day. Yeah, I mind my business too, yeah. but I mean, I still, I do, I do, I feel, I do saying, you feel though. me? Um, yeah. you know, attention, bro. Attention is everything. It's Who gets the most attention? That's that's actually the new drug. It's, it's Who brand. can get the most attention? Yes. They, Whoever can get the most attention gonna make the most. Gonna make the most money. Period. No matter what you know. That's why and you that's, got clickbait. Yeah, that's, exactly. why you, that's, that's why you got. You got a, you, somebody do an interview and they'll put the, the wildest clip. They probably ain't got nothing to do with the interview. That's gonna be the title. I mean, I, I personally, I can't. I got. I got integrity and shit, bro. Yeah, I can't, me too. Certain things, man. Um, I can't. I can't do, bro. Me I yeah. can't do weird dances and and say weird shit and. I can't either, bro. To get attention, I mean, um, nah. My wife won't even let me. The minute. <laughs> I remember once I realized people was somewhat capping, I was about to cap on one of my posts, like something real small. My wife said, take that shit down. Like, that's the kind of girl you need. You feel me? That's, no, it that's is. That's the kind of people you that's need. That's the kind of people you need um, around you. And the thing is, when you start getting some bread, you have a lot the, of yes men. The people, the people like that They're going to say yes to everything. <laughs> and it, and the, per, the person who's saying, no, nah, that's, 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 don't do that, bro. You tripping. Sometimes you start looking at them and call them a hater when they the ones mm -hmm. who really you need to be paying attention to. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Like they be saying Kanye West got a bunch of yes men around him. I can see that. You feel me? I Nobody in his ear. Like, chill um, the fuck out. Telling you stop doing that clown shit, bro. I remember I heard somebody say, they was like, sometimes a hater can be right. And I remember them here. I remember hearing that. I was like, damn, that's interesting. It was like, just because they might be a hater, don't mean they wrong on what they saying. They might be coming from a place of malice, but they could still be saying something that you need to hear. Might not be a hater. I wouldn't even classify that as a hater then. Mm, you're, right, hater. That's what, you're right. Not a hater. I wouldn't, that's just a motherfucker that's just like, um, hey, man, you need to hear this. Let me tell you what you need to hear. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, that's, that's, def that's definitely not a hater. Um, Yeah, hate hate is different. Hate is different. Hating is, this is the thing, right? I just I just came up with this not long ago, right? What's up? And, I, and I'm not sure if I heard it. I don't think I heard it because it's, when it comes to hate, right? So I tell people, when, it, when you confuse about what you want to do with your life, right? Look at what you're jealous at, and that's what you need to go pursue. Because, like, let's say if I'm hating on your podcast, all the time just hating for no reason. You're doing numbers. You're doing crazy, bringing on crazy guests, and I'm just hating. That's because I really want to do it. That's what I need to go pursue. <laughs> right. For real. Right. Think about jealousies in your life. No, facts. That you're always jealous of something. We all jealous of something. Are we really we jealous because we want to be there? We want to do that. We, do that. we can't well, do, we can't it. do it. We trying to figure that's it what out. you go pursue. That's 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 real, bro. Think about that. And, right. saying, I, and I don't think I heard because I I be thinking about a lot of different things, but I be thinking everybody said everything, right? And I thought about that. I, like, I don't think you heard it before. No, I only think I could think I, I heard similar. I heard, I heard Shaq, Shaq say something similar. He was like, just because I think he said something like, just because he said I can be jealous. But it cannot be based in like negativity or want to see want me to want to see you fall because I could be jealous yeah, to see what you're doing yeah, yeah, and be yeah, like yeah. I want that for myself too. But I don't want to see you lose, but I want that for myself. Oh yeah, for sure. Like it's a lot of people do a lot of different things. They do crazy. Just like damn. Yeah, I wish I could do that. Wish I could, that should but be you know me. me. You want to see them? Right, but nah, it? I'm yeah. happy you did what you did. Like, damn, right. Oh, I should have been me. I should have done that shit first. I should have yeah. thought of that first. Should have did that first. Mm -hmm. Nah, for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. That's not a hater. No, that's no, not. That's not. No, that's not a hater. You might got a little jealous. Yeah. Oh, you got it, bro. You got it. You got it first. You feel me? But at the end of the day, jealousy is a human 
Yeah, trait that all of us it's a human emotion that everybody experienced if you a person that say you never experienced jealousy before you a fucking liar yeah hell everybody ex- it's just like sadness happiness everybody had a feeling like damn i wish i could do that i wish that was me yeah, doing we that. are people bro we, we, we people are people bro and it's hard i hate when people say stop taking it personal even business is bro everything is personal. everything is personal literally i don't care what business we doing bro it's some personal aspect in there don't care how who you think you are, um, it's always personal. Always, no matter what, it's personal, bro. I agree. It's dead serious. I agree. Dead it's, serious. It ain't personal, but it's personal. Yeah, like I'm, it's personal. And I'm the type. I'm looking for any reason. Like I look for some. I look for the smallest reason for me to be like. My girl might be like, man, I know how you is. If that's what you need for you to keep going to go harder, go ahead and take that. Yeah. I just I can see the smallest thing and be like, am I tripping? Like, no, nah, I'm finna, I gotta turn up some more. Now, how you react to that is it's, right. How story, you react is another story. Right? You can take it personal, but you also yeah. can just let it let it go. Let it go. I won't deal with that person or deal with that. I'm good. Yeah. But you don't gotta turn up. Yeah, turn up. No, no, no. Because no, no, that's no, when you start no. messing you start up tripping. a lot of different things. Yeah, yeah. yeah you nah, got nah. you gotta keep your emotions uh, intact, especially when we, when we talking about business and building wealth and. Financial stability and all oh, that. You gotta, that's the biggest difference between Jay Z and Dame Dash. I think, you know I, how to control that personal aspect. I'm sure Jay Z take everything personal, but, but he, he he probably bottled it or show it differently. Yeah, he played the game right. Mm-hmm. Dame, and I'm not saying it's the right or wrong way, but they had different levels, at least financially, because he can't control that. Those emotions. Those emotions, bro. Control those emotions, especially in the game of business, the game of life. Yeah. Period, bro. Business, you gotta be a you shark. Gotta, you gotta be. Calm, cool, collected, but a, a, a dog too. A, po- a poker face can help you save millions of dollars. Facts. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Facts. Make millions of dollars, save millions of Still dollars. Still personal. A lot of per- <laughs> a nigga got a per- poker face. <laughs> a lot of talk- personal things going on in mind, but <laughs> he got he can control it. Knowing how to control those emotions is man. important, man. man. Somebody said something to me online not long ago, bro, and I was like, he was he was he he had, he, had, he had got a good influence. And I was like, man, should I turn up? And I'm thinking, like, I'm sitting there analyzing. I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna respond. Keep to it, it, keep winning. Keep it, keep it P, bro. That, that's the that's the best response. To so keep it P, keep winning, keep that's moving. It. Have that tunnel vision, cause then anytime I'll be ready, cause I, I I got a nice size following on Twitter, and every now and then I get somebody might pop shit at me, and I usually never respond. Yeah. But sometimes I'll be like, cause I in the back of my mind, my mentality is I gotta keep a tunnel vision. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm trying to do. Five years from now, ten years from now, this shit ain't gonna matter. All I can do is just keep winning, keep yeah, winning, bro. keep winning. Don't let it stop me. Every now and then, I might pop off some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But other than that, it's just like, man, whatever. I ain't yeah, tripping. Yeah. But let me let me ask. This is the final question I got for you. Like for somebody that's listening to this, that's young, they they uh in the position that you was in when you first started getting real estate. What's your best piece of advice for the, for them that they could take some some actionable advice to use it right now to level up? Go get a job. <laughs> For sure, you need income, bro. No, for real. Like to start any business, even real estate wholesale, you need some income. Uber, DoorDash. I'm not saying it got to be a corporate, but you have to bring in income from somewhere to get started. Right. In any business, in my opinion, bro. Um, first and foremost, go secure some income. After that, man, um, wholesaling, man, and, you know, I'm sure you heard this many times, but ain't nothing like driving for dollars, bro. When I say driving for dollars, it's driving around your hood looking for vacant properties. That's it. It's simple. It's, it's cliche. People say it all the time. But that's the easiest way. If you ain't got no bread or you got a little bit of money, go drive around your neighborhood and write down 50, 100, 150, 200 addresses that look boarded up, vacant, not taken care of, and get in contact with those owners, man. They sitting there. They liabilities at that point to those owners. They ain't making them no right. money. They paying taxes every year. Um is the the building is the deteriorate like you you gotta go solve that problem go get in contact with them make them a cash offer that's it it's that simple bro because that one check man that one check it could be maybe 5k maybe 10k that's going to change facts that's that you need that first reality check bro that first reality check everything in any business if you want to start a youtube channel right keep doing it once you get that first little 50 dollar check from youtube Oh, I it's proved up. it now. Now it put that gas in you, man, and you go crazy. That's it, bro. Like it ain't, I ain't, no, I ain't got right, no. Bro. It ain't no. It, it's really no it's secret, bro. It's no secrets to none of this shit, bro. No, you're you right. gotta really want it. You gotta have that dog in you. You just gotta go get. It. You gotta get tired of being broke. Tired of looking at your bank account, like bro. Tired of looking at everybody else win. 
Mm-hmm. I'm sure you've been there before. Like, mm-hmm. bro, everybody getting it. What the fuck am I doing, am I doing wrong, wrong, bro? Like, you gotta, it gotta hit you. Lead, lead, stop chasing females and females. I'm, I'm, I'm y'all, chasing yeah, dudes. same right. thing. Don't worry about the guy in your hood in the Hellcat and he, he lit in the city. Because right. it's no, too, you, they, they, girls deal with that too, right? Yeah, like, they they yeah, fall for that. Yeah. He got a little chain in. He, mm-hmm. he a rapper in the city. Yep. yep. Got the Hellcat. Got the clean he the man. Mm-hmm. Understand, bro? That so short lived, bro. Short lived. It's so short lived. Mm-hmm. It's like, all right, we 30 now. That Hellcat, him being the hottest rapper to his five homeboys on his block is over. What? How, baby? How you going to eat? What we on? What we talking about? So, man, staying locked in, staying focused, bro. And, uh, easier said than done. I know for sure. I still go through. I got distractions, right? I, do get, I'm sure you get distracted. Yeah, yeah. It's hard not it's to. It's hard not to. Social media, mm-hmm. you go on your feed, you got girls shaking their ass. They want you to press it. Mm-hmm. It's like the devil. As soon as you go, you get, nah, bro. You gotta get over that. that you, gotta, yeah, you, gotta, yeah. you gotta immediately, not even, don't even open it. Yeah. You feel me? They're gonna give you more of that. Yeah. As soon as you open it, more. And I realized that. I said, you know what? I see what's going on. I see what they're doing. Trying to reel me in. Nah, yeah. bro. <laughs> can, you can. That's what's going to happen, bro. That's what's going to happen. So, yeah, you're right. All right. Stay in focus, man. Locked in, securing some income. Just don't celebrating and taking small steps. Don't yeah. be looking for the big check, man. Celebrate those little checks, those little milestones. Yeah, you probably calling a seller on the phone is a milestone for you. Facts. You know what I mean? Appreciate that. Celebrate that. Enjoy that journey, man. Because I'm telling you, like you said, the million dollars ain't feel as good as yeah, learning the process God. and that's the true. journey. It was I like, damn, God. I love I thought back. Like, that was, that's what I really enjoyed. The money was like. That was just, it that just was, came. It you, knew, cool. you knew it was going to go. Yeah, it was cool. Like, that, yeah, the journey. Journey is way is priceless, man. Everybody think that the big check is what's like the life changing part, like that big million dollar, five hundred thousand, hundred thousand dollar check. When it's really that small check that changed your life. What is twenty five hundred, five thousand, ten thousand? Because that's that proof of concept. Absolutely, and you bro. like, damn, I could really do this. This really worked. Yeah. This, that's that confidence booster, and that's the real, real life changer right the, there. The, the first, the first of anything is usually the best. Somebody come out with an album. That first album always hit different. different. They was hungry. Mm-hmm. They put their life in that album, bro. That journey. First time you had sex, the best. <laughs> Facts. You looking for that again. <laughs> People who do drugs, they looking for that first hit. The, they, what, like, what built up to that? What built up, yeah. Chasing her for all those years. You finally got it. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? No, nah, for real. That's, that's, that's what it is. You work your ass off to get to that first Podcast episode, mm-hmm. that first real estate mm-hmm. check, that first rental property. Yeah, don't not, it don't matter what numbers I do. Ain't nothing on compared to that first episode I released and seeing that one download, Ooh. the first download that meant the world to Hit me. Your first one thousand downloads, you was like, like oh, oh yeah, I could millions you know, and we millions and millions and millions of downloads yeah. later, and it don't even. Every time I hit a new million, it's just like, oh, yeah. that's what's up, that's what's up. But that, that first that one was first, like, yeah, it was different. It oh, was I could different. do this. I could do this. I could like, do this. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, no, absolutely, right, bro. bro. And I and wrapping up, John, I, I want to say, man, I appreciate you for taking the time to nah, come out here and come you, on, man. man. Yeah. This was this was dope. I know yeah, it's gonna yeah, be a lot yeah. of value. People gonna get a lot of gain from this. But before I let you go, plug in all your stuff where people can find you, follow you, purchase uh, whatever you got. Everything. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So uh, MIT two one five, M I T two one five across all platforms. Um. We ain't talk about it. I don't like talking about coaching and stuff, um, but I definitely got the number one real estate talk wholesaling coaching program in our culture, 100%. Um, I give you your bread back. You say my shit trash. Like, I don't, we, don't, we don't do all the – if you say it's trash, you get your bread right back. I don't, we don't do that because I know my shit's solid. We done made millionaires. You know what I mean? And the thing is, like, some people be saying that, but we got, I mean, we got documentation. We got, we can show you. Like, I can show you people who had nothing. But again, it's not going to happen overnight. It's people who actually put their head down, wasn't worried about the outside noise, and they got to it, and they, and they been, they turned turn their life around, man. So, and we have a great community, bro, like real supportive, a real community who going to be there for you. You got questions. So, 9 to 5 flipping. Y'all, y'all know that it's 9 to 5 flipping masterclass. That's where if y'all ever want to tap into any coaching i do fr- uh, free webinars every now and then um but just tap in y'all ain't, yeah, I ain't, in, I ain't no salesy person you right, feel right, me right, just right. follow my journey follow the gems i throw on my gram and my tiktoks and all that and 
If you want farther details, hit me up on the DM, bro. And I'm gonna make sure I put that uh, that link to the description of this podcast yep. episode. So make sure y'all tap in. Y'all want to get started making that uh, wholesale real estate money? Tap yep. in for sure. Absolutely. And once again, bro, appreciate you for now, coming. I appreciate on, man. you, man. Appreciate you allowing me to be myself. You yeah, know what I mean? You know, a lot of podcasts don't allow you to <laughs> talk your S H I T. You feel yeah, me? So appreciate yeah, it, bro. I love what you're doing. Thank I you, love the setup. And I already know this joint about to go. Yeah, we, we the can. podcast in general Thank is about you, to go crazy. Bro. I you, already bro. know for sure. Appreciate that, yep, man. Absolutely. Appreciate it. And that's all we got for y'all on this episode of Millionaire Mindsets Podcast. See you guys next episode. Peace. You gotta get your brain right if you're trying to make a million dollars. If you ain't gonna do it for yourself, then do it for your mama. Only stay surrounded by them people if you know they solid. Elevate your hustle up today to double up your profit. Trying to learn some game, it's every y'all gonna talk about it. No Deanna, speak that shit that everybody vouching. Ain't no more excuses valid. Get up off the couch and get up in your bag. To your bank account, need an accountant.